Welcome to a, another tutorial. This time we're going to have a look at how to style captions using the um, span shortcode as well as how to position captions in uh, the sliders and how to style the H tags using the span shortcode as well. So what I've done here, I've set up a test page on one of the demos. Uh, I've created a slider. Now for the ones of you that have followed the other tutorials, you'll know how to do this. So we have four slides here. I'm going to add a variety of captions and style them a little bit differently. Uh, we also have the Foundry Theme Options panel open where we can set color variation. And we have the test slider open. So I'm going to go ahead and open the media uploader so that I can access the slides. I'm going to click on gallery here. And I'm going to go to the first slide here. I'm just going to go ahead and start adding some text in the caption field. Right, so I've added my caption here. I'm going to go ahead and save it here so we can have a look at and see what it looks like. And I'm going to reload the test page. So here we have our first caption. Uh, it looks pretty decent, but for example, if you would like to use Welcome to AMP as a main section and thereafter, this is a really cool slider then we could use the span shortcode. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. I'm just going to open this up again. So we're going to wrap this in a span. Now, if you followed the shortcode assistant tutorial, you know that you can insert it into the editor uh, first, and then you can just paste it into the caption field, for example. But what I'm going to do here is just type it out. Now we have created the span shortcode here, uh, and we're going to add a class to it that identifies it as a variation. So we're just going to go class equals impact underscore variation. I'm going to go ahead and save that. We're going to have a look at what that does. And we're going to reload the front end here. And there we go. Um, we have the larger caption up top, and we have the smaller one down below. Now you can obviously set the sizes in the Foundry Theme Options panel, so you can variate it. For example, if you wanted the top one to be smaller and the bottom one to be bigger, you could do that. So I'm going to just show you that quickly here. So we can go up to fonts. I'm going to go down to impact caption. Now here we have the original impact caption sizes and then we have the impact caption variation font size. So we can make that smaller. Let's see, we're gonna make that 22 pixels. You can obviously also set the line height so that you get a nice, um, a nice aligned captions. We're gonna go ahead and save these two options. I'm just gonna reload the front end again. And there we go. This time you have the variation is the smaller section and the actual caption itself is the larger. Uh, this is very useful depending on what you want to communicate in the image. So I'm going to just go ahead and set that back to what it was. There we go. Now the next thing that you may want to do too is to play with color variation. Uh, the color of the variation you can also set in the Foundry Theme Options panel. And what you do here is you add to the class here impact underscore variation and we just add colored at the end. We can go down and click save. Let's reload the front end here. And there we go, we have a nice uh, color variation and we have the original caption. Now, obviously we can style it differently in terms of alignment. Now it's top left, but we can also have uh, center left, center bottom, and the same thing for right. So we can go ahead and do that as an example here. Now you can access these options directly from the media uploader. So I'm gonna go impact center left aligned. And just save that. And there we go. Obviously, you can position it depending on the image so that 
the caption stands out much better. So now we're going to go ahead and add some other captions here. In the second one, we're going to add And we could add an H tag in here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we select the type of caption that we want. And I'm going to use a black box center left aligned here. Sorry, I'm going to use a uh, box. Let's see here. I'm actually going to use a right aligned impact caption and center it, in fact, to show you again what can be done. There we go. Now that's left aligned. Obviously, that's not where we want the caption. I'm going to go ahead and right align it here. Here. There we go. And we reload that. There we go. Now we have a nicely right center line caption. Again, you can obviously variate and add the span in for the um, for the H tag in case you're using a different font. So we could go ahead and do that, for example. Are we going to Wrap the H3 tag here. Since we're using markup here, I'm going to go ahead and use the markup, obviously. Sorry, here you just, just need to wrap it in a span. Go down and we save. can check it out here. And there we go. Here we have a different font variation. Um, here, for example, we used quicksand for the titles. So you get a nice uh, combination of different fonts, which is one of the unique things about amplitude because you can mix fonts as you want. And then we can go ahead and we can add a few more captions here. Let's see here. There we go. This time we're going to use a different type of caption. I'm just going to go ahead and save that. Check that caption out. So there we have another caption, left center aligned. Obviously, again, we're using a different type of font for the title. Uh, you can also throw in buttons here, uh, throw in links and other short codes to style it even further. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you're going to have to try it out and play around with it, but you can do all the styling using these um, span short codes as well as the H tags and uh, the span tags for the H tags. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you.